In this video, I'm gonna share with you the exact questions to ask your clients so that you can get testimonials that will convert people that are on the fence into paying clients. Hi, I'm Devin Rodriguez, and for those of you that are new here, we have a company called Storypreneur, and we help business owners leverage the power of storytelling to engage with their audience and convert eyeballs into paychecks. So if you're anything like me, when you first got started in your journey, you basically just asked people for testimonial and you said nothing else. You said something like, hey, did you really like our time together? would you mind sharing a testimonial with me and then you would just tell them to record something or give you a paragraph and then inevitably it would sound something like this Devin was a great guy I got good result I highly recommend Devin and me as a new business owner at the time a few years back I thought wow this is amazing I can't wait for everybody to see this they are going to love it and they're going to want to become my client because of what was said here well that's not what happened see here's the thing that we have to keep in mind about testimonials the thing that people are looking for or when they're on the fence about working with us or they don't even know who we are nor what we offer is to see somebody who was once in their position invested in our program and then now is at the position that they want to be at so it all boils down to a person that is looking to feel understood by somebody that was once in their shoes this is why testimonials are so powerful because a testimonial that is crafted in the right way will speak not only to where the person is but it will speak to where the person could be had they invested or if they invest in what you have so without further ado first things first down below this video I'm going to actually give you a copy of the testimonial questions that I use with my clients you can just plug them in your business you could take credit for it I don't even want the credit so let's talk about a couple of different questions that you can ask and why I think they're effective the first question that you want to ask is well how'd you find out about us the reason why this is so powerful and it's really simple is because if someone found out about you from Instagram and now a potential client is looking at you from Instagram they know well I guess I am NOT the only one and this might seem insignificant but in actuality human psychology shows that people like to act like other people so if somebody knows that they also found you from Instagram they're going to say okay at least I'm not the only one and human beings if I know anything is that anybody hates to be the first one to do anything so if we can show people that they also found us from other sources similar to other people then it's gonna influence them to subconsciously say oh, okay I guess this person is legit the second question is what were you struggling with before we started to work together the reason why this question is so important is because it's going to speak to where the potential client is currently at now when they watch a video testimonial and they see somebody who was once in their shoes but now is achieving massive results as a result of working with you subconsciously consciously the person that's watching it is going to say wow if it's possible for them what's possible for me but when getting someone to describe the struggles that they went through what's most important is to focus on the feelings that they felt I felt exhausted I felt tired I felt overwhelmed I felt like I was never gonna be good enough I felt like a failure so whenever I ask clients for a testimonial number one typically I'm doing it in an interview fashion where I'm asking multiple questions because then I could have my video editor chop them up into many different segments but that's a side point but what I'm asking them to do is to describe how they felt before we started to work together in single words such as frustrated overwhelmed tired you get the point so whenever you're asking for testimonials make sure you're asking for specific words because those specific words are going to be able to relate back to where your potential client is right now so when they hear those specific words they're gonna say wow that person once felt exactly how I felt but now they feel XYZ and they're going to be able to see themselves in the future being just like the person that they're watching on the screen the other question you want to ask is what were some of the things that you tried already or that you implemented before we started to work together the reason why we're asking this question once again is because we are trying to speak to the person that is on the fence about joining our program chances are they read books chances are they tried other coaches chances are they watched YouTube videos so now when they hear the person on the screen talking about all of that once again it builds a deeper level of trust positions you as the authority and enables the person that's watching and to say wow if that person can do it so can I so if you can't tell this is like super simple stuff that I honestly didn't understand when I first got started but the whole point of the testimonial is for the person that's watching it to envision themselves as the person that's giving the testimonial the next question you want to ask is what made you make the decision to join our program 
The reason why this is so important is simply because there's going to be people that are going to be watching the testimonial that are going to be a little bit on the fence and they're not going to know if they wanna join the program or not because they might not have the money, they might not have the time, X, Y, Z. So when you're asking this question, what made you join our program? You also wanna ask the question, were you hesitant or were you skeptical at all before joining our program? Now, when we're asking this question, we want the person that's giving the testimonial to honestly tell us if they felt like maybe they didn't have the time or they weren't sure if now was the right time or they didn't really have that much money. Why do we want them to describe some of the hesitations or some of the reasons why they might not have chosen to do it in the first place? Because it's gonna speak to where the person is right now. So if we can get somebody to say, well, I wasn't sure because I didn't just have the money or I wasn't sure because it really wasn't the best time. Well, guess what? The person that's watching the video, chances are they also feel like it's gonna be a lot of money or they might not have the right time. But then you follow up with the question of, well, what made you decide to work with us? Now, the same person that said, well, I don't have the money, now they're gonna transition and say, now was the time to act and to change my life because I know that if I just wait to be ready, I'll be waiting all of my life. So now what's happening is the person that's watching the testimonial is subconsciously being given instructions, so what we call an embedded command, that even though they might not have the money, they can no longer continue to wait to be ready because that day will never come. So those are two super important questions. Number one, what made you skeptical or hesitant to work with us? But then number two, what made you decide to pull the trigger? Because what's gonna happen is there's a gap between where the person that's watching the video is right now and where they need to be in order to take action on what you have. And when you have somebody share their experience of closing that gap, it's going to give them subconscious instructions on how to close that gap for themselves. So now when they get on a call with you and they also have the thought of, ooh, that's a lot of money, subconsciously, they're not gonna know that this is happening. They are going to recall the time that they watched whatever testimonial it was, and they're gonna say, oh, if that person did it, I guess that this is the right thing for me to do as well. Okay, the next question is, what were the results? Because at the end of the day, what we wanna see are results. Now, here's what not to do. You don't wanna have people say, he's a nice guy or she's a nice guy. He's always there for you. Oh my God, all of this tons of support, no. If you can get numbers, get numbers. I had a 30% increase in my revenue in the first 90 days. I was able to master or the art of storytelling in 30 days. I was able to go from not being able to look at a waiter to being invited to speak on multiple stages. I was able to go from being a selective mute to speaking over 60,000 people in person. Those were actually two of the experiences for two of my clients named Cecilia and then Naomi. So what you see with those two specific examples is, okay, I went from X to Z. The reason why that's so important is because people desire a transformation. They don't care if you're a good guy, a bad guy, a good girl, a bad girl, all they want are results. So if you can clearly show them proof of a transformation, then they're gonna be more likely to invest in what you have because they're gonna think it's legit. Because at the end of the day, how can you measure happiness? I became more happy. I mean, that's not really measurable. So whenever you're doing a testimonial, try to get people to say the hardcore facts that were measured and how that was a result of working with you. And the last question you wanna ask is, what do you wanna say to somebody sitting on the fence? Now, this is the part of the testimonial where somebody is speaking directly to the person on the other side of the screen. Now, here's the thing. With a testimonial, you can train the person that's giving it to you on pretty much kind of how to say what they're gonna say. Now, you don't wanna tell them, hey, this is what I want you to say, no but you can tell them what you're looking for. Let me give you an example. Hey John, I just really want you to be able to describe for the person in terms of kind of like how you felt before you invested and maybe you can share with us like why you felt that way and what about the other person on the other side of the screen that's there right now that's on the fence? What would you say to them? So then John might come back and say, well, you know, when I first got started, I was a little hesitant. I didn't think I was ready. For the person that's sitting on the other side of the screen that's on the fence, I want you to know this. You're never going to be ready and if you want to, level your life and do things that you've never done before, you have to be willing to become someone you've never been. So don't wait to get started because if you do, you may miss your opportunity. And let me tell you this, the cost of not taking action is actually greater than the cost of taking action. So stop sitting on the fence, take action, and understand that the only way to make money is to first invest money because at the end of the day, you are going to control the return on your investment. So that was like an example, but I'm speaking directly to the person and I'm speaking directly to the objections that that person's probably gonna have, which might be time, 
money, logistics. So get the person that's giving you the testimonial, give them some examples of what right looks like. Send them a past testimonial, give them some questions, give them examples and what you'll see if you go down below and actually download the sheet, which I have here right in front of me, is I'll give you actual examples. So with that being said, go ahead and use these questions when trying to get a testimonial from one of your clients and watch how these testimonials will convert viewers into customers.